feel like you should start since you're a virgin. <clears throat> I'm a what? A virgin and it's it's Christmas. <laughs> Wait, what? Go ahead. You start. Okay. Um Hi, welcome to this epic disaster. Who said I'm a virgin? Uh I thought you were, weren't aren't you? Uh you would know better than I'm not. No, I don't know. I don't I thought. Anyway. You um, were there. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> there. Yeah. Like you were there. So I'm not a virgin. Wow, we're off to a great start on this podcast. <laughs> How are you, everyone? Merry Christmas. Merry it is, Christmas. It is Christmas week, and um, I, I just felt like we should do something different, and then we really took a turn. I think I think you were going for like a Virgin Sherry thing, like a Virgin Mary, but Virgin Sherry. No, I just kind of thought you would play along and go, okay, and then just start. No. <laughs> No, I'm not going to play along. You would do that. I'm not going to play along. Um, hi, everybody. I hope you're. Uh, <laughs> hope you have a great Christmas. I hope. Um, we're we're going to have a semi great Christmas, I guess. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's I our mean, normal we're going to have like tons Christmas and tons of people stuff. over, but you know, it no. could be all right. I mean, we're but, a little bit laid back this Christmas. Yeah. though. we're, we're going to do. Uh, yeah. We are going to have a little. Keep it laid simple. Back. You know what I'm getting for Christmas? Laid. <laughs> um. <laughs> Giving it to myself. Nice. Mostly, I guess, giving it to myself. Uh, giving what to yourself? Because now I'm all confused. A new car. <gasps> yeah. You're getting a new car? Like, are you going to buy it or lease it? I'm going to lease it. Okay. Um, so I... Don't you have to have really good credit to lease a car? Um, I have no idea, but um, my wife says she can do it. So she's going to... She has better credit than yeah, you. Yeah, she's going to yeah. do it. I'm pay for it, but she's okay. gonna, she's going to do it. And, um, yeah, because my car is just – so I don't know what's happened to my car. And, you know, we talked a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yesterday I was sitting at a light and smoke is pouring in through the vents in my car. What? Yeah. There's something burning in it's your like, engine It's like exhaust smoke. It just oh. smells like I'm sucking on the pipes. Let's not do that because you <laughs> No, could die. and you could get carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah, you could die. So I'm not driving my car good, good call. Uh, much. Trying not to. So I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, it's it's gone. So um, I think, I don't know that I could get it done by the end of this year, but by the first of the next year, I think I'm going to. By the first of the next year, which mm -hmm. is the end of this year. So that's kind of the same thing. No. Yeah. First of next year, it could be January 31st. That's not the first of the year. That's I'm the... not saying, I didn't say the day. <laughs> I'm saying the first part of the year. Holy crap, what is wrong with you? <laughs> let's drink a beer. Okay, I need let's two. do that. Let's do that. You're going to have to have two of them now. To deal with me? Oh. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm in a mood. Sorry. Um, yeah. So this is brewed and canned by Duclaw Brewing Company. And you know what a Duclaw is, right? Yeah, like that's the, like on a dog and a cat, that's the uh, The claw, claw they mm -hmm. don't need. Yeah. Um, so this is from Baltimore, Maryland. That's up in um, a Gary uh, location. Yeah, Gary's up there. Yeah. Uh, I also have a friend, Scott, that lives up there. Um, so this is called the Pastriarchy, which oh I think is kind of cute, mm. but it doesn't go with this beer at all. I'll just throw that out there. Because okay. when I tell you what the flavors are, they have nothing to do with pastry. Well, let me just say, I picked this beer because it's Christmas, and it's a Christmassy kind of beer. It is Christmassy. It's a candy cane imperial stout, <laughs> which disgusts me. I, it could be the best thing. You know, we've been surprised. We've I'm, we've had some delicious sounding beers that were horrible, and we've had some yucky sounding beers that actually were good. So this, this sounds disgusting. It, I, don't I, know. I think it's going to be disgusting. I I think I might like a candy cane beer. I so. don't like mint. Oh, okay. At all, like I don't even like toothpaste. Mm. Like I don't even I I vomit when I brush my teeth. <laughs> So does everyone or else. Or at least I want to. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is 8.5% alcohol. So oh, look I'm, at that. It's chocolate. I may or may not be Holy sleeping on Holy mother your of couch. chocolate. Look at that. Are, are you calling me mother of chocolate? It's pretty. It is. It's an imperial stout. So I get I that. I didn't expect it's, that. It's, it's, oh, it's dark. dark. It's really dark. It's pretty. It's thick. It's dark and thick like does I it like my mint. smell like mint? What does that what? mean? I don't even know. <laughs> Holy crap. Like your mint dark Something and thick. Something came out of me that's been wanting to come out for years, I feel like. Go use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm I'm over it. Uh, so uh, it wouldn't fill up my glass. This oh, my is, God. This is the... Oh uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the thickest beer I've ever had. And it's... That's uh, what she said. It's got a huge tan head. That's what he said. 
apparently it's bald because otherwise his head wouldn't see the sun. All right, I'm going to try it. All right, try I'm it. I'm going to try this candy cane beer. That's disgusting. It smells. Yeah, it, smell, it smells like mint. Oh! It smells like chocolate peppermint. Because I've been uh, having coffee in the morning. Um, uh, I guess it's Starbucks, peppermint, chocolate, mocha, whatever. You drink in Starbucks in the morning? Mm -hmm. Why? That's good, because we buy. Oh, that's what you get. I mean, I did go over to your coffee corner. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. This is what I was hoping it would be. No. Mmm, yummy. Means, that means I'm not going to like I it. I can't tell you what I think about it, though. Mmm, boy. But apparently you like it. <laughs> Yell down there and tell my wife to open one and drink it. She's going to love it. All right. <laughs> Um, oh, you missed it. That was the best throw I've done in the history of this podcast. I mean, it went right in the garbage can. I, I heard it. And I didn't even aim. I <laughs> just <laughs> threw just it. Because <laughs> your office Well, I can't hardly really see it for one thing. It is disgusting. Yeah. It's filthy. There's shit everywhere. I'm remodeling. Oh, is that what this is it's called? It's a rebuilding year. How about we start tossing things? Uh, that that yeah, might I'm, be. I'm working on that, that too. That might be key. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. Okay. I'm kind of excited now. Do I get to taste it, too? Did you do it yet? No. Well, see, all right. it's mint. Let me ask you a question first. What? Do you like York peppermint patty? No. Okay. <laughs> it's mint. Okay. Why would I like it? All right. It tastes exactly like a York peppermint patty. Mmm. Oh, my God. You're right. Ugh. Blech. I could not have picked okay. a better choice. One of the things that I have said for my entire life is that mm -hmm. mint and chocolate do not go together. You're crazy. They don't go together. You are insane. Part of the problem is I don't like mint at all. Mm -hmm. Mint shouldn't go with anything. Okay. Ever. It's good. Including chocolate. It's fantastic. It's disgusting. Uh, on this show today, we, we have so many things to do. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Um, drinking disgusting beer. We're drinking a yummy beer. We have... Um, I Oh, I have to do my... Um, your synopsis. My Hallmark yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do that. And today is Gift the giving annual day. giving of the gifts, which we do uh, to each other. Now, I got to tell you. We, didn't, we don't do it to each other. <laughs> can, you, can you get like a cocktail or something <laughs> that you really like and just go sit in a corner with it? Suck on it a while. Wow. You've asked that before. Um. Okay. <laughs> And um, yeah, I got to do that, and then we're going to be giving gift, and then oh, man, that's awesome. It's a it's a uh, it's going to be a good day. Packed show, yeah. Uh, and then we got to do a little. Would you rather? But you're going to make me drink this while we do it. Okay. Uh, uh, you do what you want to do. You do you do the you the drink. stones first. Where are the stones? Right here. I'm okay. going to toss a stone. All right. I, I feel like I got to put glasses now, back on. You could see I've got them in my hand. See right here. Mm -hmm. and I'm doing this. I'm just going to drop one. I'm going to. I'm going. I'll bet it's going to be either red or green for it's Christmas. Red. It's red. <laughs> it's purple. All right. All right. So. Well, red and green make purple. Kind of. Um, so purple question. I, I'm, I never was a really good artist or psychic. Okay. Purple. Okay. Purple is food or ingestion. Mm -hmm. And would you rather eat a pound of clay? I mean, that's kind of an artist thing, right? A pound? A pound of clay. Holy crap. That's probably not good for you. I mean, they didn't even specify what kind of clay, like, is it gypsum? Is it like Adobe? What kind of clay? But they didn't say, would you either eat a pound of clay or... A candle the size, this is so weird, a candle the size of a can of spray paint. Candle. Easy. You would rather eat a candle than clay? I have eaten a candle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> a candle's wax. What do you, you have wax lips for Halloween, you eat them. You put them in your mouth, chew on them. Wax. Wax, it's fine. Eat wax. Why not clay? I'm telling our listeners right now, eat wax. Eat, eat as much <laughs> wax as you can. Uh, beeswax is good for you. It is, but what's wrong with clay? Uh, he's a little down today. <laughs> um, Sorry, clay. Well, I think cl you know clay is dirt and minerals, and I and I do know that some clay That's I think is you. is not healthy. It's poison or something. It's got oh. some bad minerals in Maybe it. Maybe cob. Like they make cob houses. But it's just dirt. I, I don't think I'd want, but I mean, can, I've had, eaten candles before and there are actually some candles that are kind of good because they're flavored. Maybe those are just the wax lips, I guess. Oops. Oh my God. So I just tried another sip of this beer. 
I can't do it. I'm not going to. I'm going to go give this to your wife. We all know you can't do it. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that's what you would say. That's. <laughs> I was just saying it because that's what you would say. That's what she said. There's a lot that I can't do. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I'm I'm a loser. Um, as you know, now we did we dropped a challenge a, a couple of weeks ago. Yep. And last week you met the challenge. This I did. week I'm meeting meet, meeting the challenge. Met that. And challenge. we uh, we did throw it out to the listeners. They didn't do it. No one did it. Nope. They they, they said we're not touching that. They don't like us. We're going to just let you do it. Yep. Totally fine. That was that totally, was the thing. Okay. We yep. just said if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. And people said we don't. <laughs> and like so that's they normally fine. do. That's fine. I am meeting the challenge today. All right. Let's go. Right here's my challenge. Wow, so, that's a long challenge. Don't you kiss my long challenge? <laughs> you don't have a long challenge except for the um, one in front of you. Okay, this is my scenario. Your synopsis. Synopsis for my Hallmark movie. Now, yet last year you had yours. You just said yours. Yeah. So I don't. That think wasn't last year. That was last week. Last week. I don't think that mine is any longer than yours. I think it's probably shorter. So okay. But here we go. It's possible because mine was kind of mm. rambly. Yeah. Yeah. So That's I'm going to try to read this. I'm going to try to read my own writing. Which is uh, first of all, I should say that my uh, my uh, story stars because uh, you, you get to pick the people in it. Right, and I asked people to 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 do that for me, but you did it. You told me who was going to be in my movie. I can't remember who did I say. I don't remember either. <laughs> it's been a minute, it's like a week. Yeah. It's been a week. I don't think I did say it. Or did I? You did. All right. I don't know. Um, so mine stars Marie Osmond and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. So it's an older person's movie. You kind of, maybe you might say that, okay. but I don't know. They, you know, with filters and things, you, they look. They could still they look could young. Look like maybe twenty-eight some CGI. years old. Yeah, sure. They can have the technology they used in The Irishman. Could happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Holly Lafitte works for a big city pedicure firm. Her name is Lafitte. Holly Lafitte. And she works for a pedicure firm. Big city pedicure firm wow Don't forget that uh she ha she answers um an ad to spend christmas in vermont town and to give free pedicures to the townspeople vermont town in exchange for free peppermint mochas oh now why uh, would anybody do just that had this beer really it's disgusting that's like punishment mm, i think so good it's gross um she soon meets oscar meyer a former marine no. <laughs> Who drives a no. wiener mobile for Uber? So hot dogs and peppermint mochas. Yes. Um, if you drive a wiener mobile for Uber, I, they should just call it Goober. I think <laughs> that should be that should be what instead of Uber, it should be Goober. All right. So Oscar is also the town's handyman, despite losing three legs in the Falkland Islands War. How did he lose three legs? Um, I'm not going to go into all of that. Okay. I don't know. I can't go into the whole backstory. <laughs> just for you um holly offers to give him a free pedicure and um, he's got no feet and a holiday butt roast dinner but of course oscar refuses because he's got no feet that's right causing holly to question his interest in her as well as her own sexuality <laughs> after a series of irresponsible same-sex relationships oh holly God. meets a mysterious nun named this is nick. happening on hallmark yes, right and yes. it's a nun named nick who gives her a magic bell and a tiny bit of black tar heroin. <laughs> Meanwhile, where's Nick when I need him? <laughs> Oscar takes a job restoring the town's antique carousel for the holidays. Oh god, no. After no. secretly witnessing Holly giving a paraffin bath pedicure to Santa Claus, Oscar returns to the carousel and chops off all the legs of the horses. So now they don't have feet either. Right. When Oscar realizes what he's done, he locks himself in the bed and breakfast bathroom with a bowl of eggnog and an M249 squad automatic weapon. Oh, my God. That's what it says. <laughs> the townspeople join forces to reattach the carousel horse's legs, which they do, um, except for one pair, which Holly carves into legs for Oscar. No. Yeah, I can no. think be like a centaur, maybe. I don't a know. minotaur. No, minotaur. no centaur. C cent centaur, centaur yeah. or minotaur. One so is... the minotaur has a bull's head and a man's body. A yeah. centaur has a man's head mm -hmm. and a horse body. That's right. Uh, the next morning, under the mistletoe, yeah. Holly presents Oscar with the new legs and is finally able to give him his first pedicure 
and with the help of the town's blacksmith, a new pair of shoes. What about um, a blowjob? That probably comes later. Okay. <laughs> Wait, right, was so that, that one of the legs that he lost? You said he lost three legs. I, I'm not. So, I can't go into the whole backstory for you. Okay. Watch, watch the show, <laughs> if you need answers. Anyway, that's my uh, Hallmark movie, and that's I stand by it. Lovely. Thank you. I, I would. I think I'd be crying at the end of that one. Um, it was one of my favorite performances of Murray em- Osmond. Emotional I think, for me. Yeah, the Samuel L. is going to get bleeped a lot in that one. I bet, because you know, where's my legs, motherfucker? That yeah. is going to have to come out. Yeah, once at some or twice. Point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I did it. I did mine. Wow. I did my, my little. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to have nightmares. Um. All right. So, what do we want to do now? Do we um? I don't know. <laughs> Drink. Oh, I know what I, I was going to do because I, I knew something was here in what? my mind. So I want to tell you about a couple things that I've seen in Hallmark movies since we're talking about, it. and I want to tell you about the worst mother freaking Hallmark stupid. movie I've ever seen. Yeah. I almost I almost ripped my TV off of the wall and threw it out the door. For some reason, my brain said you were going to rip your teeth out. It was. I was so mad. I it's so why. bad because a lot of them are bad. And some of them are are so bad, and when I say bad, I mean just stupid. Right, stupid. And this like, one was just so dumb, yeah. and I'm and it's gonna make you so mad. I'm afraid you might punch me, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. <laughs> I can't reach you. Now we were talking about because we were downstairs watching one. What was it? There was an artist. What was? Oh, oh. They they the, were re- redoing a carousel. They were restoring a car- an using ancient carousel. Children's palette. And they were using a little tiny artist palette, like a wooden palette that like you would buy at Hobby Lobby for like a kid. It was right. like really small and they just had little globs of paint on it which is and they stupid. were using tiny brushes to paint big horses you would never do you that you wouldn't do that you would have jugs of paint she had the jugs i have jugs do you know what that's from she had the jugs <laughs> it's a t- <laughs> it's a title of a uh short story she had the jugs i don't that's know. written by steve martin um from his very first novel <laughs> I might have I'm to I'm going to be so mad because the name of the novel is not going to come out. Dang it. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't know. I'll think of it like, in a minute. Because you're old. And everybody at home is just like screaming it right now. I know. Not it because they not me because they I don't, don't know, know it. it. People at home yeah. don't know it. Um, uh, Cruel Shoes. Cruel Shoes. The name of the of the book. Good for you. Yeah. Look at the big brain on Rick. Uh, I don't know if it's still in print, but if it is, get it. It's It's so stupid, but it's funny. She had the jugs. Why do I keep doing that? It's so delicious. Delicious beer. Uh, okay, so the other uh, th- dumb thing yeah. was uh, Danica McKellar. Is that her name? The the short, the cute girl that used to be in, in uh, Wonder Years. Is that right? The, the Wonder yeah, Years? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. She was cute. Winnie. She's done several. Winnie. Yeah, she's yeah. done several of them. So I was watching one. She's supposed to be this really kind of uh, sophisticated, well-known artist. Okay. And she's getting to, ready to sit down and to do a masterpiece. And she's got this huge canvas in front of her. And she uh-huh. sits down. And they show on the table. Like a well-stretched mm-hmm. canvas. Mm-hmm. And they show on the table. She's painting with, like, craft paint. No. Yes. No. Like, well, like you paint birdhouses. No, and, that's not and how that works. things like that. No. <laughs> Folk art paint. I disagree. You can't um, do that. No, you don't. You don't do that. <laughs> you wouldn't do it. Oh my God! But she was doing it, so I just feel like someone there. Sh- there should have a technical consultant there. You would think so. That could someone could say, should this be like this? You know, and no. somebody would say, no, it should not. No, actually. It but I always think about that. Like people, whenever you see people on TV on a commercial on a show or right, movies, and they're right. wearing a kilt and they're wearing it backward, yeah. which I saw the other day somewhere. Now no, I can't you think didn't. Of, yeah, I can't think of where. And. They had the pleats in the front? Yeah, and I just oh. thought, oh, wh- this, don't do that. why don't, don't they do have that. someone? Because you, they have to have a costume person. Right? If you're a costumer, it wouldn't. It just seems like a kilt would be something you would learn. You would know how and to wear garments. If you were a costumer, what other outfit would you be like? I think it's worn like that. Just go ahead. A tuxedo? Like, do you wear the tie in the back? Yeah. Like, it, it, does the bow tie go in the back? If you are a costumer for a show and you don't know how something is worn, wouldn't you check and find out? Yeah. I mean, just go go watch a little just Outlander. Do that. How about that? That would work. But that would be a great kilt because I think they wear great kilts. In Same Outlander. thing. Pleats in the back. It's still pleats in the back. Mm-hmm. Pleats go in the back, people. 
Anyway. Um, the apron goes in the front. All right. So now I'm going to tell you. Oh, God. What? The dumbest, stupidest <laughs> Hallmark movie. Worse now, than the kilt? Oh, this is dumb. Okay. This is the one I wanted. I actually I pondered murder <laughs> for this one. Because it was so bad. So Not me, though, right? No. Uh, now, I will tell you, I didn't watch a lot of it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, but it was apparently... A big part of the theme of this particular one was magic. Oh, God. Were they pulling a Harry Potter? Uh, they pulled Harry something. Oh, dear. Um, oh, dear. Magic. So, apparently, and I didn't see this part until I found out at the end, but apparently, like, at, at the senior citizen's home, this old lady makes a stocking and sells it at their fair bazaar, whatever right, it is. yeah. And it, it's magic stocking. Oh, it's a magic stocking. So apparently whatever you wish for appears in the stocking or something like that. I used to have stockings that had like little jewels on them. I'm just like, if this woman's really magic, why is she in why the senior is she citizen? And home? making stockings. Why not have stupid. a mansion with nurses and a butler? Why are you stuck in a senior citizen? Right? Home? Living with demented old people. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, please address all letters <laughs> to Sherry uh, on this one. Um Look, I have demented old people in my family. It's fine. You're a demented old person. Yes, I am. That's part of the problem <laughs> yes. that we're having right now. Um, so anyway, um, and there are things that happen, stupid magic things. Anyway, I'm not even going to go into all this. So I'm going to, let's, let's go, let's fast forward to the very end of the movie. And what's happening at the end of the movie is they're going to have... The tr the Christmas lighting ceremony, of course, and the Christmas lighting ceremony is the Christmas tree. The right. town's the the big giant Christmas tree in the center square uh -huh. is going to be lit. As f and every light on Main Street is also going to be lit. Everything. At the same time, they're going to flip the switch. They're going to blow a fuse. It's going to everything's going to light up. There's yeah. also a gazebo um, on the square like somewhere, square, yeah. and it is also lit up. Okay. All right? Okay. So. The couple, the uh, that centers around this movie, the uh -huh, Hallmark couple. Uh -huh. All right, so the dude in the couple, dude man, is the one who uh, did the lighting. Oh, so he's a pyrotechnic. He hung every light in this whole display. Of course, he did by himself. Yes, with his own two hands. And now the big lighting ceremony is happening. Uh -huh. He's here with potential uh, mate, Hallmark mate, right, and. He's getting ready, and the mayor is standing up, and the, the mayor's mayor. like, "The mayor's like, we're getting ready to do a countdown. Here we go!" And they're starting to do a countdown. You get ready to do a countdown. And okay. dude looks at the gazebo and notices that a bulb is blown. <gasps> I mean, it's like busted one, out. One bulb. It's just like glass. You right, know, somebody, right. Like, like I don't know. Yeah, somebody threw. And a it's rock out, at it. and he goes, yeah. "Look, there's a bulb out." <clears throat> right. Uh huh. And dudette says. Oh, that's a shame. Well, we'll p replace that after the we lighting. We do the big lighting. Uh -huh. And he says, "No." Here it goes. What? And he says, "No, we can't do that. All of these lights are connected, and if one bulb blows, none of them work." No, no. See, that's not how every light on the tree, every light in mm -hmm. Main Street, no, every light on the gazebo nope. is connected to the same thing, and uh -uh. if one light blows, no, that's not how that works. Nope. No light will work. I disagree. Which means no light would ever work because people would be, kids oh would God. be pulling them out. It would, and bulbs blow out. It Can you imagine every, for, for the whole Christmas season, <laughs> someone's walking down Main Street unscrewing a bulb going, is this one it? And they're going, no, go to the next one. They go, is, is this, this one, one it? it? No. Through the whole Main Street. <laughs> Onto the tree. Finally, they find it. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Fix that one light. And then one more blows. Then they get back on oh, it. God. Is this one it? Oh, God. Who no. puts lights up like that no. on Main Street Stupid, outside? That's dumb. Stupid Hallmark old, old, old Christmas trees used to be like that. Yeah. It was a pain in the butt. And they yeah. stopped making them. But that was the thing. It was like, these are on those old style lights. That's just stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> and then... It gets stupider. And no, then no. he's like, I don't know what to do. And she's like, well, let's go get Replace a bulb. The fucking he's bulb. like, no, I've checked all of the stores and there's no bulbs available. No. Mm -hmm. This is what he says. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. 
suddenly she remembers she has a bulb in her car. A one, uh, yes. one bulb. One, it's a red bulb. This in the one that's blown oh out is red. Oh my god. The exact same one. No. She remembers this. She runs to her car. She gets the bulb. She races back. Let me guess. She's running in like stilettos on mm. ice. Yeah. Yeah. And she comes back and she gives it to the guy and he's like, "Where did you get this?" And the mayor has already flung the switch. <gasps> And everybody's like looking around, waiting for the lights, and they don't know what's going on. And she's like, "Well, it doesn't matter. Just go put it on." So he runs really quick. But the and he jumps slip up. is already switched. It's already switched, the and he switch and he flips, he whatever. changes it really, really quick. And as soon as he puts the new bulb in, all of the lights turn on. They would blow as soon if the flip if the switch was already flipped, and they weren't on. And he went and stuck a bulb. See what in, I'm saying? It would blow. I want I I literally want to kill people. I would like to punch people. That is the dumbest. Not you. But there's people. there's a lot of dumb ones. There's dumb. That's the dumbest. That's dumb. Yeah. If you've seen that dumb one, you know <clears throat> what I'm talking about. Wow. All right. I'm I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna drink a sip of beer. You watched that? You watched like the whole thing? The du- that part didn't happen till the very end. It was so dumb. I, I couldn't believe it. Okay. I was I was um, I was paralyzed with the effect of the stupidity to where I couldn't change the channel and come off of it. <laughs> I was just like frozen right there, <laughs> and then it was over. And then, and then next thing I know, it, it, it was like I, it was like when when someone like commits a crime in front of you, you just stun. You can't move. It's like a car wreck. Yeah, and then it's over. And then you have to and look. And then you're like in shock. Yeah. And you wander yeah. around in shock. Yeah. I was wandering in the neighborhood naked, just wa- just <laughs> wandered around, with my Wait, mouth open. Why just, were you naked with your mouth open? <laughs> just, I was stunned. I was like shell shocked. I couldn't. That's I was walking awkward. around. Yeah, they had to go, they called the cops and they had to like. Did I had your wife to come? I had to have assistance. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I mean, you assistance. are old, so old and demented, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> As you say. Anyway, that's the dumbest one. I know people have seen that and they're like, "Yes, I've seen that. I've seen that." <clears throat> that's ridiculously so stupid. stupid. All right, let's get our mind off of it. Let's open some gifts. Oh, okay. What you got? All right. It's time to do our gift exchange. Gift exchange. Uh, I don't know how to give these to you. Uh, I, so I just have a uh, a bag that you can reach in and pull one out. Is that all right? Is that what you want to do? Isn't that what we did last year? Kind of, yeah. Okay, let's do that. All right. Uh, uh, how do we want to do it? Yeah, because I didn't wrap yours either. Are we going to do so, like uh, alter, alternate or we just, <clears throat> you want to do all yours, then I do all mine? Or We can we... alternate. I think you got me more than I got you. Oh, so you want to go first? Yes. All right, this is the oh. um, uh, uh, 2020... Um, gift giving guide because uh, originally you said <laughs> we weren't doing thing. gifts and then i had to go out yesterday i don't know that i said that i did why did you say that gifts i never say that oh all right so you're gonna reach in the bag and get a gift yeah so um just i don't without it's seeing what it, close your eyes and just reach in and grab something reach in and grab something can i get this one what i don't know what this? that is it's a box yeah that's what it, that yeah you can okay you can look at that. Okay. You can look now. Okay. Ah! Almost spilled my beer. I know. That's why I was trying to tell you to look. I really wanted to spill my beer. <laughs> you just it's disgusting. Crash the incense here. Sorry. Drug it all across the bottom. I do that. I, all right. I it's like a to box. Drag things um, the bottom. You can open it up. It's a, it's a Amazon box. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Okay. Is that not the most awesome thing you've ever seen? I might actually keep these. <laughs> I know. So Rick bought me a pair of open-toed, uh, they're like peep-toe, yes. um, platform stilettos. <laughs> the platform part is plastic wood <coughs> covering. It looks like tape. Like cork or something. Yeah, oh. but it's not. And the uh, the the shoe itself mm-hmm. is tartan, mm-hmm. and I think it's, it's pink. Hot, hot it's pink hot, tartan. hot yes. pink tartan. <laughs> um, the heel is black. Yes. And I think these might actually fit me. I think they will fit I'm, you. I'm I'm actually. <laughs> That's why I got them. <laughs> going to put one on. Holy <laughs> shit! Look I told at you that. That is hot. I have no idea what you would use them for, but when are you ever going to find those again? Never. So um, I <laughs> I got them today, and I told, was still laughing about it, and I told my wife, 
And I got in and I said, well, if she doesn't want to keep it, she can always give it to some drag queen. Well, yeah, might... I have several friends that would love these. And then... <laughs> Honestly, but they're and then a little when too I was, small. When they're I was getting small. it ready, yeah. there was a, a blue eyelash in the shoe. No. And I was like, oh, I think a, a drag, drag queen, queen already had it. Already owned these. <laughs> And um, yeah, so that's I did clean fabulous. them up. I sprayed them with Lysol and cleaned them up, and they're in good shape. Thank you. They've definitely been used, but I'm they're going in good to shape. Use them. <laughs> I'm going to wear they're them. They're awesome. Hot pink tartan. Where would you ever? I'm going to wear them with my Santa Claus dress. I yeah. think they'd be perfect. <laughs> they might clash with the red, but there you that's go. fine. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I really, really like them. They're awesome. Okay, so. You have three gifts in this bag. Okay, I can get one. <clears throat> I'll reach in and pull. I got a box here. I'm gonna pull this. Okay, pull the box out. Pull in the box. Pull the box out. Box pulling. Okay. Uh, peanut brittle. Peanut brittle. I uh, think it's the best thing about this one is that it is thin and crispy. Yes. Uh, it's not like those fat, soggy peanut brittles. I don't like that. Those. I used to get. Yeah. The thin and crispy is where it's at, and this, this is, is the best. It is. It's the it's the thin and crispy version. Yeah. And, um, Peanut brittle. It's good. And it's best by August 31st, 2021. So it'll last for a while. Till next summer. I don't have to eat it all at once, which is great. Thank There's you. There's not a whole lot no, of yeah. it, but you know, you might not finish it until then. Uh, it's naturally healthy. That's what it says. Of course it is. It's <laughs> Peanut toffee. brittle. Naturally healthy. Yeah. No partially hydrogenated oil and no artificial colors. So it's pale is Apparently. what you're saying. And it's gluten free. Of course it is. It's peanuts and sugar. Mm -hmm. You like peanuts and sugar, right? I do like peanuts. Okay. Sorry. It's <laughs> not a good gift. <laughs> Thanks for the peanut brittle. You're welcome. Uh, is it your turn again? I think so. I think so. You just got to reach in and grab something. Just reach in and pull. Okay. Feel something, pull it out. I hope I'm not burning the bag with... Not yet. Oh. Oh, you got a book. I, it's a book. No. <laughs> so Rick has purchased a book yes. for me. It's written by Karen Katz. Uh huh. And it's called My Big Girl Undies. That's right. Because you know, I mean, I wear thongs. Uh, so I would say right now. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's take a pause, and I think you should read the book. Right here. Like. Uh, Just read it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Hooray for me! No more diapers. Now I wear big girl underpants. Mm hmm. I used to wear diapers, and someone had to change them. That would be awful. Now I put on my undies all by myself. That's pretty cool. I think this is one page. No, that's two. No, that's two. Okay. I wear my undies everywhere. <clears throat> I mean, a good thing. normally. Yeah. Not always. Like, I don't know if I have. Yes, I have underwear on right now. Sorry. Okay. Playing on the slide, I wear my undies. Thank In God. In school. Mm hmm and at my dance class. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good thing. Because, you know, you flip upside down and, and you don't have undies on and that would be bad. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Uh-oh. Sometimes accidents happen. No. In the undies? That's okay. I put on new undies. <laughs> I have so many pairs. <laughs> that's a good thing. But I don't like boy shorts like that. That's well, you me. got other pair. And these, I don't like the full butt. I wear thongs. All right. Okay. You can take the book back. Okay. Uh, Next page. Sometimes I left, I let, I let my bunny wear my undies. Really? I do. Oh, that's sweet. My little sister likes to put them on her head. Dang, little sisters. That's they silly. don't know what they're doing. Actually, I have a story here. I actually uh, mm -hmm. got into my second fist fight with my sister because she was wearing my underwear. On her head? No. Oh. She was wearing them. They were white and they had little red hearts on them. And you just punched her in the and face. And I told her to take my underwear off. And she says she couldn't because she didn't have any clean underwear and she's getting ready to go out. And so I said, you, and I pushed her and she fell behind the toilet. Soiled them. And, and then you're like, now you got none. Punched her a couple times. Oh. It wasn't nice. And I scared her. And I apologize for that. And still do. Yeah. Uh, someday, sorry, going back to the book. Someday my baby sister will be big and wear undies just like me. Uh, I just thought, I hope we don't have to pay royalties for that. But anyway, um, there you go. No one, oh, oh, the, on the back of the book, it says, mm. no one celebrates the milestones of toddlerhood like Karen Katz. Thank you for your undies story. Thank you, Karen. 
and thank you, Rick. Mm -hmm. This book actually looks like it's been chewed on. <laughs> Probably. It, it, it actually little sister, has I little think, teeth that. marks in or it. Or a cat or um, something. It's probably a baby. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And if baby if babies have sharp little teeth. Okay. I don't know if they do. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that. Your turn. All right, reach in the bag. Next present, reach in the bag and grab it. Go and grab something that's like a... Is it covered in... Oh, yeah. You're going to like this one. Okay. You're going to like it. Um, Cat and Jack kids, the kids' reusable face masks. I don't have any kids, but... It should fit you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> should fit you so um they're uh one size fits most kids built-in filter pocket uh non-surgical flexible nose piece two pack mm -hmm. two pack so there's a pony yeah but or, it's no, a no, unicorn. no there's a unicorn yeah and a purple stars yeah i got you blue baby blue with unicorns mm -hmm. so if my face shrinks anytime soon i got mad i want you to try one now i don't think just open the package and try work. it if it I feel doesn't, like you put anthrax on it, it's like a joke. You're gonna be like, ha ha ha. Yeah, that would be funny. This look like kids' underwear. <laughs> you just gave me a book about undies. Well, I know, but I didn't ask you to put one on your face. I can't put that on my face. Look at that. Why not? I. <laughs> it would fit you. It doesn't fit my face. It fits you. It doesn't even cover my nose. But it does. It was attractive while you had it in front of your face. You. Okay, oh we go. yeah. Cover your nipples. It's a, it's like a, a brazier, a man's ear. It's a man's ear. A for your, for Bro. your boobies. Okay. Your movies. Thank you. I'll find, um, a fun use for it. Okay. My dog. I'll put it on my dog. There you go. Keely needs unicorns on her face. Yeah. Or my cat. Yeah. Oh, your turn. Yep. Giving of the gifts. The annual giving of the gifts is in progress, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening. Just reach in and grab something. I don't care what it is. I don't know what all I got. Okay. I don't remember what I got you. You bought me band-aids. Oh yeah, those are. Uh, so these are band-aids. Uh, that uh, there's twenty mm -hmm. assorted sized band-aids, and they are um, like pirate band-aids. Pirate band-aids. That's yeah. Right. So so if I have another eye injury, you, you could be this a, New Year's Eve, like I did last year, mm -hmm. I could just stick a band-aid on. That's right. You'd and be like look a like a pirate. You'd be like a pirate. Yeah. People think you're badass. It's perfect. No one would steal your underwear. <laughs> you're like she's a pirate or my face mask. stay away from her underwear for that matter mm -hmm. oh yeah you want to stay away from pirates underwear always yeah you never want to mess with their underwear that's bad <laughs> they're cute mm -hmm. thanks yeah okay 20 of them so you can be a pirate 20 times i'm gonna get hurt 20 times that's all you can afford just to use these in 2021 oh see only if there were 21 band-aids that would be way better well there's one time you're gonna be in trouble all right I think I still have some marble band-aids. Okay. So I'll use those. Okay. So I have two more gifts for you. Okay. One is in the bag. Okay. And one is in my head. All right. We'll do your head later. <laughs> um, wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach in the bag. Here I go. I'm re Ooh, it's clothy. It's cloth. It's very clothy. It's cloth. Is that just one? It's one. Okay. One I'm pulling thing. it out. Yep. I'm whipping it out. Pulling okay. it out. Pull it out. Uh, I, what I'm looking at here is a t-shirt that's gray. It's a gray t-shirt, uh, and you're looking at it. the back. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, there's a t-shirt It says, uh, visit historic Shroot Farms. Cool. Yes. Yes. Awesome. It's a Shroot Farms t-shirt. Nice. And it, let me see. Oh, don't look at the price tag. No, I'm not looking at the price tag. Okay, XL. Might be able to wear it. Yeah, if you can't, can't your wife wear, can. I can't wear XL anymore. What? I'm a fat ass. You're not. I Totally am. That's, I can't believe it. That's the one thing for this year that is just, just stressed me out. That's not good news. I can't wear. That's XL. not good news. No, because I'm I trying to control else. it. I'm trying to control it. That's not I'm good trying news. to fix it. All right. Well, trying then, then you can hold on to that because it's never. Gonna, it's never going to go out of style. No, every shirt I have is XL. So I, I have, I either have to completely buy a new wardrobe and right. throw those shirts away, or I have to lose weight and get it. I'm choosing to lose weight. That's okay. what I'm, I'm working on it actively. So Okay, good. Because mm -hmm. um, the Shroot Farms t-shirts mm -hmm. never go out of style. No, those are cool. Yeah. You can't beat them. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I got that a lot of them. awful. I know. Here we go. All right, so let me see what's left. Oh, I know what's left. 
just just grab one of the other. One or the other. There's two in the air. What is that? What is? I feel like I'm picking something up off the table underneath <laughs> Maybe the Maybe you are. I don't know. Okay. You got me chocolate parfait. I got you. Rich and creamy nips. <laughs> I got you some nips. I like nips. <laughs> you got your own nips now. I like nips. But don't rub your nips on your <laughs> I'm nips. I'm rubbing them on my nipples. You've had way too much to drink. No, not yet. I, I Trust me, I might after this. But uh, awesome. Dollar store? Uh, Maybe. Nice. So they're they're chocolate parfait nips. nips. <laughs> they're basically caramel candies with mm. chocolate like ganache they were all in out of the dicks. middle. I who, you know who likes a chocolate dick? I, I'm not just that, but I'm just thinking because uh, I was watching it earlier tonight, and I mean this, I know this is immature, but I was watching it and there was a commercial for Dick's Sporting Goods, uh -huh. and they were like, "Get your next one at Dick's," and I was just like, "Who? You do they did they when they were thinking about it did no one go you can't call a store dicks you can't do it you shouldn't like, we're gonna it, do it. i think i think what they should have said it was that you shouldn't call a store dicks because people like you and i um laugh at it every time it comes on every time we hear a dick commercial Bob, buy your dicks buy commercial sports buy your balls at dicks that's Mul what they say it's multiple a sport, dicks it's a sports store so there's a there's a company i'm not going to tell you why i know this company i just know this company it's here in Atlanta. Okay. It's called Atlanta Hardwood. And mm -hmm. their tagline is, when you think of wood, mm -hmm. think of us. There is a, um, as, and you've probably seen this, as you're coming from Chattanooga mm -hmm. to toward Atlanta, uh -huh. uh, in Dalton, where all the factories so are. So heading south where the carpets mm -hmm. are made. There is a company called Beaver Carpets. Yep. Carpet. And the, so a lot of people snickered at it, right? Yeah, of course, because I then, would. So I do. So they made a sign, and they co so they covered like this big sign on the side now that's beaver carpets, and then it's like they they had this long thing about we'll do your hardwood, and we think outside the box, uh -huh. and they're putting all these double entendres on there. I right. just like it's, it's stop like a high it. school it's kid like, is their marketing person. Yeah, but I mean I'm down with beaver that. carpets was funny enough, but then they're just like going overboard. I'm okay with that though. Yeah, I guess. All right, who's next? Uh, you you are. Okay. So I don't have any more in the bag. Bag is empty. Oh, okay. The next uh, gift I have for you is in my head slash phone. In your headphone. Sort of. Yeah. Um, it's it's a poem. A poem. A poem that I wrote uh, for you okay. as a gift. Oh, cool. And I hope that you enjoy it. I okay. Do I sound like Moira? No. Oh, I was trying to. You could. Okay. I'm sure you can. So, <clears throat> my dearest friend, my oldest friend, what? my funniest and boldest friend. Not that you're old or bold for that matter. Or funny. <laughs> thank, thank you for loving me and taking care of me, watching out for me and keeping me safe. You are my sunshine my only sunshine you tend to make me happy regardless of the color of the sky because if you only made me happy when skies were gray that would be weird you'll never know how much i love you or how much you mean to me because i'm shallow and i don't like sharing feelings also i'm empty inside <laughs> nice it's one of those non-rhyming poems yeah yeah <laughs> it's a you. poem if i if i had emotions i would weep nice <laughs> That's no what, one ever that, wrote that me was, a poem. That was the no, goal I was, I was after. I'm trying to think if I, I wanted to make you cry. I've written poems about people, but I have I, I don't know that how many I don't know I can't think of too many poems that have been written by me or for me. That one. Yeah, that's like one of the first. I can remember um, when I was doing the Year in a Kilt, uh, some punk band in in uh, let's see Italy. Yes, I remember. Wrote a song about they wrote a the song year about kilt. you. Yeah. 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 And that and was, was awesome. Cool. No one ever wrote a song about me before. And now that someone's really written cool. a poem. And you have a poem. For you. We'll put it to music and there'll be two songs about me. Okay. We could do that. But I prefer the the, the spoken word. Okay. So you're like a beat poet. Yeah. You like the beat. I, I you like we the got beat. the beat. You like All right. One more um one more thing in here. Reach in there. You're making it very creepy. <laughs> Reach in there. 
Wait and see what you find. What am I touching? I'm just going to say you really don't need this present, but go ahead. I don't know what I'm... Oh, is it alcohol? It is alcohol. (gasps) It's one of my favorite scotches. It's the Glenlivet 12. All right. Well, there you go. And it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bottle. It's a tiny bottle. It's a little... It's way better than the beer. one celebration. It's It's just one celebration. It's like a half a celebration, really. I wouldn't have it tonight if you've got to drive, though. I'm going to. Well, wait till you get to your destination. Okay. Don't, don't drive. <laughs> I think you're cl- getting too close to the limit now. I'm not. I'm not sure I'm gonna touch the beer again. All right, that's crazy. But well, thank need, you for the scotch. And thank you for my the poem and and all yeah. the others. Yeah. I love my pirate band aids and my my undie book and your and wonder, my nips. Wonderful nips. Um, drag queen shoes, which will get use, <laughs> even if they never see the ground. Well, um, it's been a pretty good Christmas, I have to say. Uh, I feel like we should wi- start winding it down. Let's wind Let's talk a little bit down. about Jesus. <laughs> no, I don't want to. It's Jesus' birthday. We should talk about Not the Christ today. child. Um, did, well, did you have a religious uh, kind of Christmas when you were growing up? We've talked about this, no. I did. My, we, we did. You were very religious. My yeah. family, my family, uh, no. 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 Hmm. <laughs> no religion. At all. No. No. Uh, we didn't go to church. We didn't. Um, oh, man. I can remember. Like, we we did go to church. And, like, every so often, whatever, what, seven, six, seven years or whatever, um, Christmas would be on Sunday. And oh, so God. we would have to wake up and we would want to play with our toys, but we nope. couldn't. We had to you go had to, to church. To, you had to go to Mass. Dang Wait, it. No, it wasn't That's... Mass because you're not Catholic. No. You went Southern to Baptist. just church. Yeah. Not Mass. No. Just church. Yeah. And, and What's the difference? Uh, well, they're both church, but you know, okay, yeah, like one is end mass. N- no, one is mass in- is more of a ritual. Oh, I mean, okay. it's there's a lot of Latin stuff in it, and and it's like and theater. Chanting. Well, I mean, it, all churches uh, got an aspect of theater. That's true. But I mean, so like, so I I did Southern Baptist. And right. If you're Southern Baptist, you kind of know what Southern Baptist churches do, and did that's they what we do did. the like the the. I will heal you. Thing. No, or did there, I mean, there was like, some kind of Baptist that were, there were snakes like that. Involved? No, oh. that's not Baptist. That's uh, holiness. Okay. Start getting into uh, like into the Pentecostals, like Church of it's God. Kind of a little more fringe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not a very, uh, that's not an orthodox practice. Okay. So if you ever watched the uh, movie, The Apostle, which yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, I believe he's holiness. And so a lot of the really, uh, backwoods holiness churches, and I will say even non-denominational churches would do the snakes. Okay. I mean, you, th- I don't think that most established denominations do that. I didn't think that churches that believed in the story <laughs> of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden mm-hmm. would invite snakes into their well. The snake thing is church. is based on an actual uh, passage of scripture. That Jesus said to the apostles, that said, in the end days, or if you become my, I can't, I'm, I, I can't remember the exact right, thing, right, but anyway, right. basically, uh, I will, uh, I will allow, I will let you drink poison, I will let you handle snakes, I will let you something else, and they will, the you will not be affected by it. So, so they went with the snake thing rather than no, the they poison do poison thing. too. No, they drink the poison. No, they that's don't. not as publicized as much, but what? yes, they will drink strychnine in church in the churches. Read it, look it up. Um, oh my God! I, I did I not don't, know that. Yeah, I don't think it is publicized as much as snakes, just because it's not quite as dramatic. Right. There's also another thing, and I can't think of what it is, but it's like you could take up, you will take up snakes and you'll drink poison, and then I don't know. You're also, you know, the the when you when you're touched by the Holy Spirit or baptized by the Holy Spirit, you speak in a tongue which people don't. Right. The know, whole. The, it's tongues. a foreign language or whatever. Right, right. And so there's a lot of that, a lot of tongues speaking. Is that the same denominator or like the same kind of Speaking thing? in tongues is, is done in uh, a lot more orthodox and established uh, Pentecostal churches. So that's not quite a fringe thing. Like you could go almost anywhere and hear people doing that. In Atlanta, it's very popular. Okay. It's a, it's more of a Pentecostal thing. Okay. So the Pentecostals... Um, why, why did we get onto this? I don't. You, why'd you? We, we do it. We'll do a whole. We'll do a whole podcast. <laughs> okay. About this someday. <laughs> but no, we're, there's no snake handling. Okay. Didn't happen. 
Uh, but we would get up on, uh, and usually it was singing Christmas carols, uh-huh. and the pastor would would do a sermon, and it was usually you know the Christmas story or whatever. And then we would go home, and we got to play with our toys. But while we were at church, we were just sitting there. I mean, Begging we didn't listen to, to anything. Yeah, and I was play just with like, your toys. I can't wait to go. And how many how many gifts do you think that because you had a large family, you had seven. Yeah. Yeah, there were siblings, seven, kids. seven all together. Mm-hmm. So you had six siblings because yes. there were seven of you. Yes. So how many toys per se do you think that you each got every year? I would say, well, we could ask for one main thing, uh-huh. and then we would just get surprises, little okay. toys. So I would say, in our pile of toys, uh-huh. uh, ten to twenty-five a piece. Yes. And there were seven of you. Yes. And your dad was a school teacher. My dad did not do our. We had uh, another family member. Oh, that's right. That's right. It. You had you had a benefactor. Yes, if you will, uh, a very generous one. Yes, and she did for years, and uh, we would have had nothing if it wasn't for her. Okay, okay, I see what's <laughs> but, happening. But w- so we could ask for a, a gift, mm-hmm. one main gift, and I mean the rest of them. I don't know. We just it was little things. It might be a bag of chocolate covered peanuts or something, which was nothing. Or a pair so of you, socks. Yeah, so they were like smaller things. Things. But, right. you know, there was a lot of them. But usually it, it was toys and they were small toys. And when you're a kid, you know, any toy is fun. Just opening gifts. Is yeah, fun. yeah. Yeah. So when I was little, <clears throat> when my parents were still together, um, this is fun. Um, our, our benefactor was our parents. Okay. And there were just the two of us, my sister and myself. And we got at least 35 presents a piece, maybe. Mm-hmm. And that's on the low end. And then we got the big ones. Mm -hmm. Like when I was eight years old, eight years old, mind you. So this is 1982. I got a 27 inch color TV for my bedroom Mm -hmm. in 1982. Not bad. I also got a stereo uh, dual cassette tabletop radio stereo thing for my room. I also got a uh, uh, telephone uh, with my own line for my bedroom. That You're I could, spoiled. I was fucking spoiled. You have no <laughs> idea. And um, I think the next day my dad gave me $50 and told me to go to the mall. So um, Get out of my hair. Basically. Um, and that same year my sister got a bass guitar, amplifier. I think we both got bicycles that year too. Um, yeah, we were... we. That's how I grew up. I grew up uh, above average, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, money-wise. Yeah, for a while. For a while. (laughs) And then things went awry. Put. Yeah. So so I've experienced all of it. Um, But there was never any religion in the whole Christmas thing. It was, you know, chili dogs on Christmas Eve. Uh, and we opened our presents on Christmas Eve, and then we woke up to all the big presents on Christmas yeah. morning. We knew about the Christmas story, and we knew right. that that's what it was about. Uh, but you're a kid. You're focused on toys. Yeah. And the Santa thing was so much more interesting and more fun. Yeah. I, if Jesus bought toys, we would be all over All it. over Jesus. But, uh, but it was Santa, and uh, we knew, and, we, you know, I mean, we tried to think about Jesus. I know kids now, like, they'll stop and sing happy birthday to Jesus, which... To me, it's just embarrassing. That's kind of silly. <laughs> I, well, first of all, he I wasn't just, born in December. No. <laughs> he was like a July or June baby, really. I think it was May. Yeah. But yeah. Um, and, and he also was not born around a fir tree. So, mm-hmm. um, but either way. Um, but those are all symbols about other things. And yeah. they've just been incorporated over the years. Yeah. But we we knew all of that. It's just when you're a kid, you know, that's what's fun. Uh, but, you know, we would pray before dinner and things like that. But, it, I mean, we weren't like mega religious. It's just that we were, you know, we were your typical Southern Southern Baptist family. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it was, it was a nice balance, I would think. It was weird. It was like in my family, if somebody was visiting like a family member who was, um, you know, a, a God-fearing person mm-hmm. and they chose to say grace, you know, I, my parents kind of rolled their eyes. Yeah. It was that that's the family I grew up in. My yeah. parents were like, no, Lord, no, um, <laughs> not that shit again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and it was normally my dad's family coming from Kentucky yeah. to visit. Sure. Um, mom's family is mostly in California. And none of them really did any of that right. stuff. Not that Californians are non-religious, it, but yeah. 
Um, just that part of your family. Just part of my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it was all good. Well, a uh, little reminiscing. <laughs> About we we almost got into a whole discussion there that could have taken well you want you a said a, few, while. a little while <laughs> you, and we were talking about let's go and let's do a podcast about God and we need to I feel like I think so too yeah and and try and be respectful well I feel like we try to be respectful unless we're joking about something we try to be respectful I don't think we make fun of or poo poo anything really poo-poo. no we don't I don't think we do poo-poo. is there anything that well that okay so. Show? Sometimes I do, uh, so like I'm not a magic person. I was saying that a few minutes ago. I, right. I don't, I don't believe in like magical beings and magical right, right. creatures and yeah. mystical forces and all of that kind of stuff. I right. mean, uh, Harry Potter is miracles and yeah. all of that. I'm, I'm not into that. Got it. Uh, I do believe that there's more to uh, existence than what you see with your eyes. Agreed. So I know that, but I don't feel like that. That's unnatural. So I don't feel like it's miraculous. I feel like it's just a normal part of existence. Sure. We don't maybe not see it. But I do feel like we should get into it and we should talk about things. And, and you know, I, I think we can. It'd be fun. Uh, let's talk about the beer. No. While we're talking about miraculous no, things. I don't want to. Um, I can't. We're going to talk about the beer. No. And this is, what is this? Tell us again what it I is. I don't want to. It's called, uh, okay. It's called the pastryarchy, which is stupid. Because pastry is like buttery, flaky, yummy, goodness and this is a peppermint chocolate beer which is not pastry so so no i i disagree with the name mm-hmm. i disagree that the name of this beer is the pastryarchy it is a weird beer name it's a candy cane imperial stout mm-hmm. now i'm down with the imperial stout part of it mm-hmm. and i'm down with the 8.5 percent alcohol part of it but as you can see i've had three drinks of my beer <laughs> yeah and i'm not okay all right, so uh, I'm going to say, uh, first of all, taste-wise, man, I love it. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be, but uh, I thought it wouldn't be. Okay. You know? I mean, I was hoping it would right, be right. this. Right, right. Okay. So you're pleasantly surprised. Yes. It tastes like uh, very much like a peppermint patty. Yeah, it it's does. It's chocolatey and minty. Like a York peppermint patty. That's so much what it tastes like. Yeah. Um, it has a little bit of bitter in the back of the throat. And uh, the thing that I would say I dislike the most about it yeah. is it's so sweet. It's, it's very sweet. Uncomfortably sweet. Almost uncomfortably. It's, um, it's, I would be. Ugh. I would have drank a whole lot more of it if it, it wasn't as sweet. I will say though, a a beer that's called candy cane, I would expect to be sweet. Yeah. So I can't. I'm not faulting it for that. It's just that whoa, it, <laughs> it oh, is sweet. Yeah. It's a sweet beer. It's a bit much. Uh, and it's lost. I mean, it's you still has a little bit of a head on it, but I feel like mine's lost some because I haven't touched it. Um, it's some of the um, carbonation. I'm gonna try it to make and, sure. And 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 by all means, if you are a mint fan, maybe not, or if you are a like a like a peppermint fan, or if you like York peppermint patties or any yeah, kind yeah. of, you're gonna love yeah. this beer. It's just as chocolatey though as it is pepperminty. That's correct. Mm-hmm. It, there's there's they both have the same level of flavor mm-hmm. it's just to me it's disgusting yeah that's good <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh should we rate it what do you want to what do you want to you want to give it a number uh one you're giving it a one i'm giving it a four and the reason i'm giving it a one mind you because you think it tastes like number one because <clears throat> it tastes like ass okay like somebody's eaten a peppermint patty and it came out of their butt um i don't think that um i've i've i i just i like it okay <laughs> Good for you. Uh, you remember uh, when you were... Oh, no. What? This really dates me, and no one is Please. old as... No one out there is as old as me, I don't think. Maybe two people. So <laughs> when we were kids and we would actually watch Charlie Brown Christmas... Yeah, yeah. It was always sponsored by Peppermint Patty. Yes. York Peppermint Patty. Yes. <laughs> and then they started with the commercials about the feeling... Of a York peppermint patty, yep. and that was after the after that. I get the sensation of a cool water something all over my body, all over you. Yeah, yeah. weird. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's a four. You think it's a one, but it's a four. Okay. It's really a four, and I would uh, suggest everybody sample it out. Okay. I uh, hope you have a great Christmas, everyone. Thanks for listening to us. We got um, probably one more show to do before the end of the year. Yep. And then next year we'll be back with brand new shows in a brand new year. And maybe some brand new stuff. I feel like we're getting stale. We need to we need to we step it up. We need to do something new. We need yeah. to get some new features and new stuff. We suck. And we're we're thinking about that. Okay. So we're gonna be doing it. 
But in the meantime, uh, we do hope you have a good Christmas. And uh, uh, send us an email, thisepicdisaster at gmail.com. Tell us what you got for Christmas. Maybe we'll do something live because I'll be here for Christmas. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Christmas Eve. And I'm not saying we are going to. <laughs> oh, you know what? Aaron sent us another email. Oh, and he yeah. sent us a short one. Yeah, this so time. So we can actually it read it. It was short. And I didn't bring it. So um, I will. we'll read it next week. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Since we couldn't get the whole thing on. Uh, but we do hope everyone uh, will have a great Christmas and let us know what it's like. Find us on Facebook. Find us on Instagram and all the other great places. And, we'll be there. Yeah. We'll be here. And uh, tell all the virgins in your life we say hi. And uh, and wear your undies. Wear your undies on your head. Okay. All right. We'll see you. Merry Bye. Christmas. Bye. 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 This is a Violet Jester Media Podcast.